Well, hi, and welcome back to my beautiful office in 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to look at the camera. The sun is directly in my eyes. It just needs to go up a little bit higher, and we'll be right. But yes, my reserve's looking beautiful at the minute, and it's time to talk about what's in my bag. I know there's a lot of these out there, but they seem to be quite popular. Um, I did one seven years ago. Probably wasn't very good. I haven't looked at it since then. And I thought, yeah, let's have a look what I'm using these days. The actual backpack and all the stuff that I carry around for a day trip. Or regularly come out into the reserve on weekends and during the week. Uh, and this is what I use. I thought, yeah, I'm try and make it entertaining and educational and uh, have a bit of fun to kick off 2022. For photographing and filming wildlife, I need a backpack that's tough, versatile and comfortable enough that I can wear all day. So I chose the Low Pro Whistler 450. I chose the Low Pro Whistler because of its size, its versatility. Um, I've owned quite a few backpacks in my time and this is the one I was drawn to after learning about what I really need from a backpack. Uh, the Low Pro won the race and I've been really happy with it. What's this? This is my, going into my fourth year now with this bag, I think. But I've been so happy with the bag, I would definitely buy it again. Climb trees with it on, climb cliffs with it on, so crossing over logs and various other things. And I can tell you, you don't lose your balance. It doesn't influence you very much at all, especially if you keep it to nine kilos. I found that that's the perfect sweet spot. Makes this bag, uh, yeah, don't, doesn't want to pull you back or anything like that when you're going up a cliff. That's its perfect weight. Once you start putting some more in it, you notice the extra weight. Uh, your comfort level starts to go. So for me, nine kilos, perfect weight for this bag. It's also good for overhead luggage. That was another reason I bought it for, because of the size of it. It fits their criteria spot on. Now it is a little weighty without any camera gear in it at all. Uh, that's because of the padding and low pro, uh, that's what they're up to is protecting your gear. A bag that holds its shape, non-collapsible, that protects your gear well. So that comes at a cost with weight. But you know, we can overlook that. I would not use this bag for overnight hikes. I've tested it out just for the hell of it. I wanted to see whether I could do that. And no, there is not enough pockets to put your stuff inside. So your camera gear is gonna be all right and you can shove bits and pieces in there, but everything else has got to go outside, exposed to the weather. Uh, and it's far, far too uncomfortable. You know, I go on overnight hikes, I'm generally up around a weight with camera gear of 18 kilos. You can't do it with this bag. All right, that's enough of the actual uh, talking about the bag itself. On the outside, I my mean, little Osmo fits in this strap at the front here that is elastic. It's stretched out to the buggery now, but it makes it very quick and easy for me to get my Osmo action camera out have it on there all the time, ready to talk crap to the camera. I'm using the XF400 at the minute, but yeah, it's there ready for anything that happens in front of me for my YouTube videos or anything else like that too. I can use, I use it for uh, filming wildlife as well, you know, getting up right close inside a nest or a log or something like that. So that sits there beautifully. And when I'm walking and uh, I meet someone, I'll just turn it down a little bit so it's down around the torso here area and I'll say hi how you going just adds a bit to my uh, YouTube uh, adventure videos water bladder during the summer months I'll put it on 
I'm a shocker for f not thinking about drinking water. It just doesn't occur to me. And the problem is I get dehydrated a lot and I don't realise it until you're home and uh, go to the toilet and it's uh, dark. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that toilet talk. But uh, yeah, it's something I have to keep in mind all the time and having my water bladder available reminds me to keep drinking as much water as I can. Uh, we have a nice little pocket for the phone. Now, speaking of uh, the, the bladder, the water bladder, it goes in this side compartment here. It's where I like to put it. Mossy repellent. This is the only one that I found that actually slightly works. All the others are just like putting water on yourself. But this one actually works, lasts until it evaporates off after about five, ten minutes. Got to keep replying, putting it on. Hopefully it's not doing anything to my skin. Toilet paper. <laughs> Emergency toilet paper. Got to have that in there, guys. Um, and I have straps in there of different sizes. Oops, looks like I might have taken it out. Oh no, there it is. All right, so belts. For me, very important. They're so, so handy. I'm very inventive um, and they come in handy for all sorts of things. So when I'm filming, when it's raining, without bringing tons of gear out, a tarp or whatever, I can just bring my umbrella out, shove a stick in the ground, tied up with these. And uh, yeah, just applications like that so I can keep filming, keep photographing in the rain where I'm in a fixed position. All sorts of things like that, a tourniquet, snake bite you, uh, they're just extremely, extremely handy. So for bush, bushcraft, for me, they're a must. Always have them in the bag. I have that long one and I have this little short one. Now we have this back compartment and this is where I put my tripod, my small one, the XF400. It goes in the back here, but I don't use it very often. Uh, it's only I know I need to use it, I'll bring it out into the reserve, otherwise I'm using my R6 to film the wildlife if I'm only coming out and hopefully I might get something. Um, but otherwise, yeah, when I'm purposely filming something, I know I'm going to get it, bring the XF400 out, that fits in there beautifully. Yeah, so raincoat and the raincoat for the backpack and a bit of honey for uh, to draw the agile antichinus out. It does have a little pocket at the top here. Uh, I usually have my little tiny notebook in there with a pen and my headlamp and a couple other things, but the zip's broken at the minute. Now a little tip for you with zips. Now how many times have we thrown bags and things that have zips out into the bin because the, the zips come off one side? And my little technique is get a small, thin, flat screwdriver you prise the side that's come off open a little bit. Be careful because they will just break in half. So just slightly get it apart, just enough so it slips back over the zip. Then with a pair of pliers, very gently clamp it down a little bit. Don't overdo it because it'll be too tight and you won't be able to pull the zip and it'll just be stuck there. So yes, be gentle with the pliers, apply a little bit of pressure, and you'll have this back again. I got a bit lazy and I keep forgetting about it when I go home. So I need to fix that. Well, it's time to look inside the bag. So we have the R6 with the 100 to 500 RF L lens. Uh, yeah, it's a great combination, enjoying this, not, but not the price that it uh, cost me. <laughs> this lens is overpriced, in my opinion, by $1,500. It shouldn't be that expensive. But anyway, uh, it's been a great combination with the R6, getting some beautiful stuff. So we have lots of uh, Velcro little apartment pa packs. And I put my batteries in them and they just stick on the wall wherever I can fit them into around my camera. And I always carry the Rode Mini Mic with me in the bag that uh, fits onto the 
Osmo Action camera as well as the, uh, the R6. Uh, batteries for the XF400. And batteries for the R6. These are just generic brands off the old 7D Mark II. They work really well. But I bought the non-L lens because I don't use it much. Didn't make sense. Uh, very good quality uh, of the lens itself. So it takes beautiful photographs. It is plastic. I have done a review on this. Uh, so it's cheap, but it ain't nasty. But you have to be careful with this one. If you drop it, quite likely break a thing inside, which I talked about in my review of this. When it's raining, and I'm using a flash, which is bloody rare now, the R6 has changed the way I photograph in the forest environment because we can go up to those high ISOs. I'm generally on 3,200 ISO when I'm in a forest environment. Uh, so that I sort of haven't used this flash this year. <laughs> Uh, oops, wrong year, last year. Last year has just gone. So yeah, I very rarely use a flash these days. But what I do, if I am using one in the rain, I've got this little cover that came with cotton carrier. So carry your camera on the front of his chest. It came with that to go over the actual camera itself. But I find um, it just helps keep water off the terminal at the bottom. So it fits over this and clips down uh, just over the viewfinder. And then I can just, when I go to photograph something, I can just quickly lift it off. But anyway, rabbit on. Do still carry a flash with me. Can be handy just like that lens. Uh, just shove some filters in there. I don't really need to carry these around with me, but I just leave them in there just in case I get go to somewhere new that's a, an eight stop uh, ND filter and that's my polarizer so they just live nicely in there because this actual compartment here can come out if you want to clean it or don't want it in there you want to shove more gear in there um, so yeah but it's just a nice little compartment there now this is coming off I ironed over this hole uh, yeah it's buggered yeah top of the camera on the 7D Mark II, uh, the hot shoe there, wore a hole in it for this pocket, ultra, ultra thin, I will have to fix that again, and just carry odds and ends in here, don't normally have much stuff, uh, these are just for two different lenses to put uh, graduated filters on, so that's all I really have in there. You can put your extra CF cards. That's it. That's my tour around the backpack. This is what I'm using day to day. This is all I need. So that's all I take. The top compartment, that has just my odds and ends that need to be in the bag all the time. A hat for the odd occasion, sitting out in the sun. Uh, yeah, waiting for something to happen just handy nice and light the collar for the 100 to 500 RF lens to go on the tripod uh, this is my lavalier kit bag so I just keep my little odds and ends in there I've got the lavalier kit on at the minute so, but uh, there's just the extra bits that uh, attached to the Osmo action camera so I can use it on that and also I put the door of the Osmo action camera in there as well so I don't lose it when I'm using audio very important item first aid kit just got this pocket knife tape uh, all different types of padding uh, bandages so you know we scissors we're well prepared there we've got um, splinter probes all very necessary stuff to keep with you all the time um, a new addition that I bought last year the start of last year and that is an emergency beacon so it's uh, 
you know, even out here in my reserve, there's old mine shafts that have been filled in, but they do still collapse. So that's it, it's just a quick pull it that apart, press that button, and uh, people will come to your rescue. And this, I bought this for the overnight hikes more than anything, but um, yeah, if I don't have any phone reception, it's not a lot out in my reserve, and I'm in dire, dire straits, so I'm gonna die. I'll be <laughs> releasing that for sure. Uh, and I'll just put odd, other odds and ends in here, whatever I need. Uh, you know, like remote control for the XF400. And any other little batteries or whatever extra I need. Just handy. It's got a nice little zip up top. My earphones so I can listen back to me. What crap I've been talking to the camera. Uh, these are for my trail camera. They're the uh, mini... Uh, SD cards so I can swap out the trial cameras see what they've been up to I've got keys for my my ladder the lock on my ladder for uh, nesting box number one that's up three meters in the air that's a handy little screwdriver so they're the flathead screwdrivers uh, comes in handy for prying things apart but for the tripods that are, have a screw in for the heads and that's it for at the minute but yeah it's just handy really handy little pocket this top one put bits and pieces in now if we're going for a really really long hike and i need to put some food in this is where i'll put it as well there's another good thing about this bag it is a great seat it just holds itself i've got all my camera gear still in there and i'm not touching it very much so yeah i do this a lot I'm watching something I spotted Pardalope making a nest in the bank of a creek or something and I've got nothing to sit on. The grass might be slightly wet. Chuck the bag on the ground and I can sit on it nicely. Awesome to be able to do that. Well that's my what's in the bag. I hope you enjoyed this, got something out of it and having a look at how another photographer and uh, someone who films wildlife what I like to take with me on a trip out into the reserve forest, you know, some day hike. That's all I've got for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, got something out of it, and you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff. Click on my pretty little face just down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hit the little bell, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you want to go and have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon right here at the end of this video. It'll take you to my channel. Oh, there's tons of videos to choose from there. Talk about this sort of stuff, camera gear. I talk about photographing, filming, wildlife in the forest environment or out in the open. Go on adventures, I take you with me. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife, son. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.